All right, the picture for 2024 is becoming clearer and we are looking at a third term for the NDA, although not as comfortably as they may have hoped and as polls were predicting. 289 is the number for the NDA. Remember, most polls started from 320 onwards, so pollsters have got it wrong. That's point number one. India Alliance is doing much better than was expected at 226. Now, let me come to the figure for the BJP, which is of keen interest at 235. Definitely not as good as they expected. Look at the next two numbers, TDP at 15 and JDU at 14. That means Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu and Mr. Nitish Kumar as NDA allies become very, very important today. Something that NDA allies may not have experienced in 2019 or 2014, where they were add-on, so to speak, because the BJP had its own majority number. That doesn't seem to be the case right now. Now, that breakup you're seeing off the India screen and the whole India map with the blue and the orange across the country merits a bit of a deep dive. Where exactly has the BJP and the NDA lost its numbers and where has the gain come? Um, for the Congress and the India Alliance. Let me start with Uttar Pradesh, which is the biggest pain point today for the BJP and where all the chintan, so to speak, will happen. NDA is at 36 out of 80. This would be the worst performance for them in the last 15 years, if I count it from 2014 onwards, 2014 and 2019 onwards. So for the last 10 years, the NDA 36. India Alliance, powered actually by the Samajwadi Party, and I don't know if you can show that breakup, has done much better than was expected and predicted at 43 seats. Remember, with the most number of seats going into Parliament, Uttar Pradesh becomes very, very crucial. Is this a sign of agrarian distress, etc., speaking out? How did this happen even after the Ram Mandir project, etc.? Will be questions in the days to come. The other very important state is Maharashtra. 48 seats in the Lok Sabha, which is why Maharashtra is key. Here, the India Alliance seems to be leading at 26 and the NDA at 21. Now, remember what has happened in Maharashtra in the last five years, where uh, the NCP and the Shiv Sena have split one portion of it with the NDA, one portion with the Congress. And Maharashtra becomes very, very crucial, not just because of the 48 seats, but because they have assembly polls at the end of the year. It houses the financial capital. One of the largest contributors to the GDP, one of the most industrialized states. So Maharashtra becomes key. Another weak point for the BJP today. Let me go through some of the other crucial states and we'll talk about Karnataka. We'll talk about West Bengal. We'll talk about Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. These become very important. In Karnataka, the NDA has not done as well as it did last time. They had about 23, 24 out of 28 seats. They have slipped. The India Alliance has improved. But Karnataka still continues to be a stronghold in the south for the BJP, relatively speaking. The real story and the real gains have come from Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh in alliance with Chandra Babu Naidu. Now, Chandra Babu Naidu becomes a crucial figure today because he was really out in the wilderness, uh, in a sense, after a YSRCP had won the last assembly elections. In uh, Andhra Pradesh's case, the assembly and the Lok Sabha elections happened together. And at 20 seats, the BJP's strategy of tying up with Chandra Babu Naidu has clearly worked very, very well. So that is one plus point. But then, more power to Chandra Babu Naidu in an NDA government. Then let me come to uh, the state of Bihar. Bihar also becomes very important because here, Few months ago, Nitish Kumar joined hands with the BJP once again, and the BJP gave quite a few seats to Nitish Kumar's JDU. It has worked well for them. 31 out of 40 is with the NDA. So Nitish Kumar becomes a very important person at the end of the day today as far as the NDA is concerned and the next government is concerned. Odisha is the other important headline of the day or the story of the day, so to speak. The BJP decided to go it alone, take on Naveen Patnaik's Biju Janta Tal. It's worked for them. 17 seats for the NDA in Odisha. So these are some of the key states. I just want to see what's happened with Gujarat and where it's settled after all 543 leads are on because Gujarat is the bellwether of the BJP. And here, India Alliance seems to have bagged one out of 26 seats. And that really 
is a sign of things. So NDA is still in pole position, not as far across the finish line as they would have hoped. And that really is the big question today.